the 20 minute two inch micro. 20 minute, fl 20 minute flight? 20 minute flight. another episode of Rotor Riot. I'm Zoe FPV and we're with Vanover and we're in the Outcast Filmworks workshop. This is my home, my life, and the place where I get my work done. This is oh. a battery I helped design and build here in San Diego. It's a lithium ion pack. I've gotten 26 minutes and 50 seconds Jeez. on this pack with this drone. 20 minutes of flight time. I, I think I'd fall asleep after 20 minutes. Well that's good because actually with this one we got a GPS on board. We have full oh, nice. GPS capabilities. So when you get bored you just put it in GPS mode, take the goggles off. What we do with 20 minutes really opens up the doors what's possible with the drone because it's not only a great acrobatic flyer but now with this drone it's built around a Raspberry Pi meaning you can hack it to do incredibly different things. And on top of that we're running INAV instead of Betaflight so you have full missions and waypoints for whatever you want to do. You know this is why civilians are scared of drones. <laughs> <I> think, <laughs> because, like, we always talk about how the technology you know if you've ever been in public as a drone pilot you've probably been asked once or twice like you know do you do stuff for the military you know what is the military doing with drones and this is <laughs> this is happening now like this is the thing like you guys are developing this stuff and really pushing the limits i always think that in racing we're pushing the limits with technology but by all means i think you guys are pushing i mean a two inch quad that can fly for 20 minutes where can't you basically go with this thing and this is all open source tech so you can get this as a civilian these are for sale right now on our website this is really for the colleges the universities the makers the teams the people that might be FUV pilots, but want to do cool stuff with a robot, a flying robot. And the cool thing with it being a sub 250, you don't have to register it, no remote ID to worry about. And on top of that, it's safe. You don't have to worry about putting a bunch of nets, creating a special space for it. You can pretty much fly this anywhere without having to worry about something going wrong. The frame is built around the Raspberry Pi. So with this battery pack and the Pi, they're actually like almost built for each other. Got ourselves an M8Q583 GPS on top. This tells the iNav board down below where it's at in the world. And on top of that, we got a barometer, accelerometer, gyro, all the things you come to expect. But this allows the iNav flight controller to actually fly autonomously. But just and just do so autonomously. You flip a switch, you have full acro, which is amazing for a build like this. So it kind of does a little bit of everything. Hey guys, Zoe has brought us out to this beautiful park slash beach area where we're going to be testing out the Micro Hawk. Um, it's kind of windy so it's kind of moving around a little bit but right now I'm completely hands off of it. So it's just flying on its own, you know, it's just over there doing its thing. And it's really windy out, like this is the first time we've flown in these kind of winds so I was a little nervous but it seems like it's fine. with this drone is that it doesn't just do acro, it has a GPS mode, which means almost anyone can fly it. You don't have to be a pro pilot because essentially it flies itself and you just tell it where to go. Okay, what do I do? You go out over the water. Okay. Now your right and left thumbs, yeah. when you turn those side to side, you want to turn them together at the same time. Uh -huh. so if you want to turn left, move both thumbs left. Uh -huh. That'll turn you left. So like, let's try and do a left turn. It's so hard, I can't even see the there position you go. the drone's in right now. Just like that, now you can straighten it out. And then you can try a little bit of a right turn. Both sticks push right. So your left thumb, when you push that side to side, that's gonna turn the, the, like the angle of the drone. But your right thumb there is roll. That's your roll axis. So when you, now what you wanna do is you wanna push your right thumb forward, that's your pitch, and that's gonna, like you're doing right now, that's gonna bring you forward. Beautiful. Yeah, she's doing good. She made it all the way back from the other island. She's on this Let, side. Let's try and hit this gap right here. These trees to the right. What? This one right here. So just go forward with your right thumb and give it some throttle. There you go. Gonna be the first and you're going to use ever. your right thumb. What? Right so, here? Yeah, right there. Any, any, either one of those two. Okay. So you're going to use your right oh thumb God. side to side. So Crystal's trying to gap right now. I'm absolutely forward, nervous. Forward. I haven't seen her gap anything and survive. Straight forward. I've never gapped anything. Going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So hold it, hold it. Nope, 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 nope,
Nice save. Oh, she almost got Power. it. There you go. So there you go. drones in stabilized mode, it's really windy right now. So even with the wind, it's still helping assist her in the flight. Oh God, it's so windy. Which makes it a little bit easier. But how does it assist? Like, is it GPS? So the GPS assistant uh, the flight is really yeah, kind of helping right now. It's kind of taking yeah. over some slow. of the uh, difficulties when you're trying to navigate. So it's trying to keep it in one position. You're not necessarily telling the drone to go left or right. You're trying to there update the position Angle of the it. drone and the drone Beautiful. will fly oh, to that God. spot. Take your time. It's like stabilized mode with extra assist capability. Abilities. All right, let's see this gap. Come on. She's doing really good. You're doing really good. So your right yeah, thumb is going to do all the work. Okay. You don't need to yaw, which is your left thumb side to side. You're just angling it. See like that? And then you're going to push, push it, forward. Yeah, it. A little more left. Yeah, it. Keep it slowly, slowly, slowly. There you go. Beautiful. Take your time. And once you know you've made the gap, push full forward. Left. Oh. Almost, Lord. almost, almost, almost. <laughs> all right, so now you, can, now, now you want to yaw it. Ah! Uh, and then just land it right now. What? Drew just stopped that with his foot. <laughs> that was nerve wracking. That's the first time one of these things have flown over water. So I'm Larry Hess, um, CEO of Hess Systems. And our model is maker, not just beyond just the hobby of flying um, first person. You know, it's a flying robot. And so that's where we started like adding things like the Raspberry Pi on it, where it's all built around it and integrated so you can start doing experiments. A whole different subset of the community can now participate with you know a high-performing drone. Uh, my name is Sid Gracer. I'm a DSP engineer at HES Systems. Uh, DSP stands for Digital Signal Processing, which involves taking things that are in the air and then putting them into a computer and processing them. So you could actually feasibly have this on it. A small, like one of these drone platforms. And this is uh, simulating an APCO 25 signal, which APCO 25 is public safety systems. Uh, if you have a police scanner and you listen to that, you're listening to an APCO 25. It is, we want to be able to simulate this and put it um, in remote locations where it can sort of become that kind of signal without actually having to have this expensive hardware. Hi, my name is I work for House Systems. Uh, due to the nature of the work I do, I'm unable to disclose any personal information. Right now, we're currently deploying the microhawk in Puerto Rico uh, to determine underserved areas. We will utilize this information to basically build an ISP in Puerto Rico. Uh, using the microhawk is absolutely amazing platform. We can cover square miles in rural area remotely without having to actually traverse the train. It provides very valuable information regarding Wi-Fi availability and strength. So how do I go into acro mode, Zoe? You are now in acro mode. That's better. And so it changes the rates completely. It it's does. Is that a full oh stop when you're just recovering? Ripping. Man, go, go park it like oh, on the other side of the river. Just go park oh. it with GPS and hand it off to Paul. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for her to be in. Is it good? Um, defi define good. So is should he set her sticks or what should he do? Oh, she's guess, good, Paul. Got it? Yep. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I was ripping it. It felt good. And so that's the fun thing. Generally with an acro quad, you can't just shift it over to another pilot like that. <laughs> I think Alex and I are gonna go for a, a walk on the beach. We're gonna go way over there somewhere <laughs> where Zoe can't see us. Yep. And then we are gonna text her the GPS coordinates of where you are. Of where I am. Okay. And then let's see if you can hack, put the GPS coordinates in the drone and have it come find me. Okay. Let's see if let's see if you uh, if you hacker people can actually uh, pull <laughs> off something. Let's see if you guys can hack. I think them. I'm down for this challenge. I think we got this. All right, Alex, let's go for a walk. Go for a walk. Well, I don't know where they are anymore, so that's fun. <laughs> you think they're actually gonna be able to find us over here? I don't know, I, I guess this could really be anywhere. Like, this doesn't really look like one particular area of the park. All right, you ready? Look happy. Aw. 
Oh wait, there, I can finally see it on camera. Oh, it's doing something, it's doing something. It's doing something right in the tree, right in the tree! Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it no. escaped the tree? Oh no, It escaped oh, no. the tree and it's going oh, no. somewhere! Oh, where is it going? Oh no! Where is it going? It's just gone! Where is it going? No. It's coming home, it's coming home. I think the coordinates were a little bit off because it started lowering itself down and it went right into the tree. So it sensed a, it sensed a problem and went back to home? Did it go back into return to home mode? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's sick. The yeah, fact that it recovered too. Wait, I think that's pretty cool that it had an issue and it came home. So then yeah, you, you- I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna retry it one more time. I think we can get it. Okay. It is one, now it is directly above us. <gasps> oh, it's stopping, it's coming down. <laughs> Getting closer. It's get, dude, it's like really homing in on us. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, oh, it just it just like shot it off. It just shot off. It just went. But yeah, a little monster's coming home, and I, I consider that a successful mission. You guys just saw it flying a full GPS-based mission with no pilot in the loop. Has GPS assist so anybody can fly it. Full acro mode, and it flies for 20 minutes on our 250 gram platform. It is quite honestly one of the best drones that I've ever built, and I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it. This is more than I asked for! <laughs> 